ya nabi ya allah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya nur allah my islam brothers and viewers of our social media youtube channel alhamdulillah azawajal today uh, we started a, a very brand new class inshallah azawajal for madni qaida and inshallah azawajal we're going to go step by step inshallah azawajal through the whole of the madni qaida now remember madni qaida is important for us to learn about the quran itself so we're going to learn some of the rules that are in the quran how why it is important to know what the haruf mustaliya are haruf halkiya what is idgham what is iqlab how should you stretch a letter and all these kind of rules inshallah azawajal, we're going to be going through every day monday to friday from 5 p.m inshallah azawajal, until roughly for about 5 35 5 40 so we're going to have about 35 to 45 minutes you are watching me live alhamdulillah azawajal. this is not a, a recorded program but this is a, a live program and inshallah azawajal, we're going to go through the madani qaida together so that inshallah azawajal, we can uh, learn our madani qaida and also alhamdulillah azawajal, we can uh, try to read the quran properly as well inshallah azawajal. now what i want you to do is first of all i want you to do if possible if you can uh, share this uh, link to your family and your friends as well inshallah azawajal, if they can join us in the class as well and at the end what we're going to do is inshallah azawajal, uh, we're going to hopefully inshallah azawajal, have a, a, a question and answer session as well so if there's anything that i couldn't explain properly and or you you misunderstood or you want to ask a question then inshallah azawajal, i will go through that and inshallah azawajal, we can answer your questions as well so if there's any questions that you wish to ask, then please feel free at the end, inshallah, azawajal, you can ask the questions as well. But before that, inshallah, azawajal, why is it important to learn the Madani Qaida or the, these rulings of the Quran as well? As you know, the Quran is the book of Allah azawajal, and it's very, very important that we read the Quran with the proper pronunciation, the tajweed and the makharij. Yani how do you pronounce the letters? Where should you pronounce the letters from within your mouth? You know, what are haruf e mustaliya? Why are they important? Now remember, if, if you are watching this program and your mother tongue is not Arabic, you know, we are Ajamis, we are non-Arabs. Now if we are non-Arabs, then what is happening is maybe we've read the Quran in the old Urdu manner. Alif, Be, Te, Se. Now that is the Urdu language. Yeah, even though Urdu language has come derived uh, from Arabic as well, the 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 haruf e tahajji of the Urdu language are uh, well 99 95 percent are the Arabic words as well. But today, inshallah, Azawajal, we're going to go through. Uh, the Madani Qaida and we're going to start off from lesson one and like I said if there's any questions that you wish to ask then please feel free to ask the questions at the end of the program inshallah when we finish the program and you have some questions inshallah azawajal, we can go through them as well the may Allah azawajal, give us the, the program, ability to learn and to understand the glorious Quran as well I've just got my uh, mobile phone in front of me as well so if there's any uh, questions that you wish to ask then inshallah azawajal, uh, we can go through them as well inshallah azawajal. now my dear Islam brothers let's start off with lesson number one but before that let me tell you why it's important that we read with the tajweed you know some people might be thinking well i've already you know learned my quran i read the quran every day but i'm sorry to say this not to uh, not to everyone but obviously there are a lot of people who think that they know the quran but sadly they are making common mistakes and because of them mistakes the the, the words are being pronounced wrong and the meaning changes why we learn the quran one is so that we can learn, read the quran gain blessings from allah azawajal, and the other is because to recite the quran in your salah is farz it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a farz in inside your salah so if you make any mistakes grammatical mistakes makharij mistakes then what will happen is the meaning will change let me just give you a, a couple of examples a lot of the time what happens is, you know, we read 
the very famous surah and if you ask people they all know surah ikhlas you know read kul hu lahad and they'll read kul hu lahad they won't even they won't they won't even have to think what they are reading because that's how how they've learned the surah they, they don't have to even think about it but the first uh, uh, word that we read the letter that we read of surah ikhlas is qul qaf qul now that qaf is pronounced from the top of the throat if we read it with the other kaf now this kaf is remember with the two dots on kaf that makes the word qalb now if you read the other kaf the kaf which makes the word kalb and kul now qul and kul sound similar but they have to be different the word qul means say you o beloved sallallahu alaihi wasallam yani allah azza wa jal is saying to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam o beloved you say to them huwallahu ahad he is allah the one now if someone says qul huwallahu ahad instead of qul huwallahu ahad then because of not reciting the letter properly he is reading qul and qul also means to eat so if you are in your salah and you read qul huwallahu ahad your namaz is over your salah has finished why because you are reading the word wrong so that is why it's very important that we read the salah properly and read the quran properly as well inshallah azza wa jal so if you just joined us my dear islam brothers alhamdulillah azza wa jal you are watching a live program this is not a recorded uh, program that we had a few days on inshallah we decided that we need to go live and do this program inshallah azza wa jal our target is for about 35 to 40 minutes so that we don't take too much of time and we also learn the, uh, the alhamdulillah azza wa jal a lot of the lessons as well and today inshallah azza wa jal we're going to start lesson 1 but if you just joined us or if you have joined us please share the link that if you have share the link so that other people can inshallah azza wa jal watch this live as well and also subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the the ring the bell button because that will inshallah azza wa jal tell you uh, whenever we are on live it will tell you that we are live and inshallah azza wa jal you don't miss any lessons as well hopefully inshallah azza wa jal you're all comfortable sat at home or in your offices and inshallah azza wa jal we're going to start the first lesson now before we start off the 29 letters of the arabic language i'm going to show you the 29 arabic letters as well these are the 29 arabic letters that you can see in front of your screen i just want to remove that uh, the bar from the top if i can take that off um mm, no let's try again inshallah so we will get there don't worry ji inshallah i think we might have to just uh, uh, bear me with that tomorrow inshallah so we'll i'll try working my tricks out and inshallah we can hopefully get rid of that top bar as well but anyway there are 29 arabic letters in the arabic alphabet we call them huruf e mufridat or we call them huruf e tahajji now mufridat the the meaning it could be mufrid mufrid means singular so there there are 29 singular letters in the arabic language now from alif to ya in there are 29 huruf e mufridat now seven of them I don't know if you can see the cursor. Inshallah, as well, like I say, it's my first time going live today. But inshallah, we'll try to uh, get this uh, sorted out for tomorrow. Hopefully, inshallah. So there are seven letters that we read with a thick tone. Seven letters that we read with a thick tone. Now, when you when you read these seven letters, they are called huruf e mustaliya. What are they called? Now, I want you to repeat after me. Whenever I say to you, "What are they called?" or "What is it?" then try to repeat that letter as well. Inshallah, Azza wa Jalla, you'll learn better as well. So there are seven huruf e mustaliya. Seven huruf e mustaliya. In all cases, these seven huruf e mustaliya are read with a thick tone, with a deep sound. And the seven ones, you can see them on the screen now. They are the ones that are coloured in blue. Now I don't want you to be remembering the color of the letters because what if I bring a black and white madani kaida then they'll all be black so we need to learn what the letters are so the first huruf e mustaliya letter is the kha then sad 
داد تا زا غین انقاف انشاءاللہ عز و جل دے آر دا سیون حروف مستعلیہ لیٹرز بٹ ٹوڈے انشاءاللہ عز و جل ویر گوئن ٹو سٹارٹ ٹو سٹارٹ ٹو انشاءاللہ عز و جل ریڈ فرام دا فرسٹ لیٹر آئی ایم ریڈنگ یو میسیجز آز آئی ایم ٹیچنگ دا کلاس از ویل Um, inshallah as well there's uh, some islam brothers are telling me what to do but to be honest with you because the mindset is to teach inshallah i'll figure it out for tomorrow inshallah as well we go our uh, it majlis it team inshallah as well they'll give me a few lessons on this so let's start off with the first lesson i'll read first and then if you can repeat after me inshallah a'udhu uh, billahi minash shaitanir rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف باء تاء فاء جيم حاء خاء دال ذال را ز سين شين صاد ضاد ط ظا عين غين ف قاف كاف لام ميم نون واو ها حمزة یا ما شاء اللہ عز و جل دیز ود حروف مستعلیہ as well as all the حروف مفردات now انشاءاللہ عز و جل we want to go through the letters and then learn how to read them letters as well where we pronounce the letters from now some of the letters uh, they might be i'm not going to say they are difficult remember the most easiest book to learn to memorize is the beautiful quran it's very very easy to learn the quran so don't worry about this if you can't pro uh, pronounce the letters properly try try inshallah as well as uh, trying inshallah will make you a perfect person inshallah as well okay so now we're going to start off with uh, with the alif inshallah as well now remember when we read the alif we don't stretch it we don't say alif or we don't say alif we say alif 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 the next letter ba the next letter ta the next letter tha now how we're going to read the letter tha is if you can look at my tongue the tip of the tongue will be touching the inner part of the top teeth here tha 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 there is another letter another, another letter that is read from the same place that is the letter dhal so tha ذال ف ذال so let's repeat again الف با تا ف i'm going to make you look at the madani qaida now الف با تا ف ف The next letter is Jim. Jim. The next letter is Ha. 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 Now Ha is not a haruf-e-musta'liya. The letter Ha will be pronounced from the 
middle of the throat. So you might have to just uh, squeeze the throat slightly just to get the ha properly. Now if you're wearing glasses, it's much easier. Now this is a tip that uh, someone gave to me, is when you, like when you clean the glasses, <laughs> yeah, so that's how you can practice. And our teacher told us that when you read the letter ha, put your hand in front of you and make sure that you can feel the air coming through the throat. <laughs> So what we're trying to do is a lot of the time how people read the letter ha is they either read it from the bottom of the throat or they read it from the th top of the throat. But ha actually comes from the middle of the throat. Ha. So can you see this squeaking sound? Ha. 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 So you need to practice that a bit inshallah azawajal and you'll get the hang of that as well inshallah. So let's read the letter. Ha. Now the next letter we are going to read is the letter Kha. Now remember Kha is a Mustaliya letter so that has to be read with a broader sound, deeper sound. Kha. Kha. You don't have to do that. Kha. Kha. You don't have to do that but your mouth should be full mouth. Kha. 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 So that's your first Mustaliya letter. The next one is dal, dal. The next one, dal. Remember where this dal comes from. The tip of the tongue touching the inner part of the top teeth. Dal, dal, dal. And the next letter is the letter Ra. Make sure when you read the letter Ra, don't have like, a, in Urdu we say Jumbish. Yeah? Don't have this echo sound or repeating sound. Rrr, rrr, that is wrong. When we read Ra, just this beautiful word with a full mouth. Ra, Ra, Ra. Next one, Za. Next one is Seen. Now when we read the letter seen, we're going to be having a, a whistle sound. S, s, and then with normal. Seen. Seen. And the next letter is sheen. 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 And the next letter we're going to read is the second haruf musta'liya. Now this is a sword. Now sword, mustalia letter, we're going to have our mouth full deep sound. But first of all, a slight little whistle sound and then we fill our mouth. Sword. 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 MashaAllah. The next one we're going to read is Dod. Now how we're going to read the Dod is the side of your tongue, side of the tongue will be touching the upper part of the mouth. Lord. And because it's mustalia, we need to have a deep sound, full mouth. Lord. 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 Read, now let's read the previous one. Sword. Lord. Now remember, in sometimes what happens is when you read Sword, because a person is used to reading the Urdu language, or if he learned his Qaeda in the Urdu language, a lot of people normally read Swad, Dwad. You know, so in Arabic it's not Swa. Don't let the Wa, don't round your lips. Just as soon as you read the Sword, open your mouth with a full. Sword. Lord. Sword. Lord. MashaAllah. And the next letter is the letter Ta. Ta again is a Mustaliya letter. Now how we pronounce the Ta, the two letters, the Ta, Alif, Ba, Ta and the Ta are read from the same place, from the tip of the tongue touching the, the teeth here. Ta. Alif, Ba, 
Hatta. Now, because this is Mustalia letter, we're going to read this with a full mouth. To. 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 Don't do a jerking sound. To. Zo. To. Zo. Not to. But just slightly. To. 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 MashaAllah. And then the next letter is the letter Zo. The letter Zo. Again, these three letters, uh, especially the Za and the Zo, you get mixed up. These are what you call the Qaribu Sot letters. They sound similar, but they have to be different letters. The Za that comes after the Ra, Za, and this one after the Ta, Zo. How we read that is exactly the same as the Zo. So we read as Zo, 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 Ta, Zo. Full mouth, mashallah. Ta, Zo, Ta, Zo. Mashallah. Now we're going to read the letter Ain. Again, this letter also is pronounced from the middle of the throat. Just like the Jim Ha letter, Ha. Ha, ha. The letter Ain is pronounced from the middle of the throat. Ain. Now sometimes people will find a bit difficult to read the letter Ain, but practice makes a man perfect. So keep practicing it. Inshallah, you'll be you'll become perfect. Ain. 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 MashaAllah. Now we're going to read the next haruf e musta'liya, which is the ghain. Now, sometimes people, they read gain, g, g. The g sound is, is, is the wrong sound. The ghain is read ghain. It's a haruf e halkiya letter, but you should ghain. Full mouth, ghain. 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 MashaAllah. And now we read the next letter, which is the letter Fa. How you're going to read the Fa is the top teeth will touch the bottom lips. Fa. Fa is what we call the Harufe Shafavi, the lip letter. Harufe Shafwi. So the top teeth will be touching the bottom teeth. Fa. Fa, fa. The next letter is the last haruf e mustaliya letter. Qaf. Now qaf is going to be pronounced from the top of the throat. Yeah. So can you? The throat is divided into three: the top part, the middle part, and the bottom part. The qaf is pronounced from the top part of the throat. Qaf. Qaf, top part of the throat. Qaf, Qaf, Qaf. MashaAllah. The next letter we're going to read is the Kaf. Now, the difference between this Qaf and this Kaf is that this Kaf is going to be a thinner sound. The, the, the Kaf with the dots, the Mustalia, is a thicker sound. Qaf. Now, this one is going to be a Thinner sound. Kaf. It's not kaf. Some people read it as kaf. It's kaf. Let's read them together. Kaf. 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 Next one is lam. Lam, Lam. The next letter is the letter Mim. How you read the letter Mim is that you, the, 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 the dry part of the lips, the outer part of the lips will meet each other. Mim, Mim, Mim. MashaAllah. So the next part is 
The letter is noon. Noon. Now, very important is when you re read the noon, the sound of the noon should not go into your nose. I'm going to give you an example. When you read noon, you could, I, I could feel it. Maybe you can hear it that the sound of the noon is in the nose. It should not go into the nose. Now, if I close my nose and I read noon, you can see, you can feel it and you can hear it that the sound is coming from the nose. Noon. That is a that is the wrong way to read that. How you should read the noon is even if your nose is closed, you're still reading the noon properly from the from the throat. Like for example, no. Even if I close my nose, you'll see that my nose will you know, my the voice will not break up. I'll read it the other way, just to give you an example. I'll I'll close my nose. No. So can you see when I'm closing the nose? The letter changes, Zuni. Mm -hmm. Now, when I, when you're reading the noon, the the nose, even if you close the nose, you should not feel the sound in your nose. I'll read it now. Noon. So can you see the the voice is not breaking even if I my if I close my nose. So this is uh, this is practice again. Try to stand in front of the mirror, read the dua. Allahumma hassan ta khalqi, fa hassan khuluqi, and then. Inshallah Azawajal, start practicing your qaida. Inshallah Azawajal, you'll become perfect. Okay? So the next letter we're going to go towards is the letter Wow. Wow is red. Now, Wow is also a lip letter. Harufe Shafawi. Now, when we read the letter Wow, Wow, Wow. So you round the lips. Wow. Some people read va. Va. The, the top teeth should not touch the lips. The lips should not even touch each other. They should be rounded. Wow. Wow. The next one is ha. Now, this ha, sometimes people read it as a. I've, I've, I've heard people, Bismillah, Ir Rahman, Ir Rahim. Bismillah, Ir Rahma. It's not an ha. Uh, it's not an ah. It's a ha, ha. From the throat, from the from the chest, you can feel it as well. Ha, ha. Yeah. So this is a ha. You just remember. There's a ha from the middle of the throat. Then there's a ha from the top of the throat. And this is ha from the from the gala here, from the throat here. Ha. Okay. Now. The next one is Hamza. Some people read it as Amza. Amza with a with the A um, alif. Amza. It's not Amza. Hamza. Hamza. And the next one is Ya. Ya. Let's read it once more. Inshallah. I'm not going to have the letters on the screen. We're going to read it by heart because we need to remember these by heart. And if we've got them by heart, We've cracked it, inshallah. Okay, so let's read the harufe mufridat by heart, inshallah. Alif, ba, ta, fa, jim, ha, kha, da, Zal Ra Za Sin Shin Sod Bod Ta Za Ain Fa Kof Kaf Lam Mim Noon Wa 
Hamza. MashaAllah Azawajal. That brings us to the end of our lesson number one. A few things to remember. Musta'liya. If you read it as a combined form, you make the word Khusa Dagtin Qiz. Now, the seven haruf e Musta'liya, we need to remember them by heart. Kha, Saad, Daad, Ta, Za, Ghain, Qaf. Remember these seven haruf e Musta'liya and the four lip letters, the four Shafawi letters. Ba, Fa, Mim, and Wow. These are the four lip letters. And inshallah, azawajal, tomorrow we'll be going through lesson number two, which is murakkabat, the combined form, how to recognize some of the letters when they are joined with each other. Now, I'm just going to go through uh, some of the messages that we had from the viewers today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and you learned something from this lesson. Inshallah, azawajal, hopefully this was our day one. This, now, this lesson will be running from Monday to Friday. We started today on a Thursday. We are supposed to start it yesterday. It was a good day to start Wednesday. If everything should be started new on a Wednesday. But we had some technical issues where we couldn't start. So Alhamdulillah, azawajal, instead of delaying it till Monday, we thought, no, we'll start today. So Inshallah, azawajal, the class is going to be from Monday to Friday from 5 p.m. Until uh, 5.35, 5.40. We'll even, if needed be, we can go to 5.45, inshallah. Azawajal. We don't want to be stretching it too long so that, you know, people get tired. But I know, inshallah, azawajal, there's a lot of jazba and there was a lot of need for these classes as well, alhamdulillah. And this is what Dawat Islami is trying to strive to teach the Muslims how to recite the glorious Quran. So, inshallah, azawajal, uh, I'm going to start reading from the, from the top again. Uh, can you please add all lessons to this channel? Uh, we do have the recordings of this lesson uh, on Madani channel. But because uh, we played the, the first one, it was a recording. We played that. But uh, a lot of viewers were saying that we wanted to learn. We wanted to repeat. We wanted a live interaction. So that's why we've done this uh, because we wanted a live interaction with that as well. And also, mashallah, Zodal, where do you get the prayer timetable in Rochdale? Subhanallah. Now, because we're in a, a Madani Qaeda class, try to have the questions relating to the class itself. Uh, timetable, inshallah, you can get it from Fezane Medina, Radharam, inshallah. Sorry, Fezane Medina, Rochdale, uh, Foxholes Road, uh, inshallah, Zodal. See Irfan Bay, Masoom Bay, or inshallah, uh, um, uh, there's Islamic brothers there as well, inshallah. See them and they'll give you the timetable as well, inshallah. G. Uh, Dawat Islami Africa, can you repeat second line? Okay, Alhamdulillah, Zodal, uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, we do have, uh, it's for brothers at the moment, inshallah, we're going to have a, a, a class uh, starting on Saturday, sorry, starting Saturday, South Africa time, 1 p.m. until 1.40 p.m., inshallah, uh, inshallah, if you want, if you can contact uh, Adnan Madani or Shahid Garda, inshallah, they'll tell you the link so you can join us on, on that as well. So we're starting a brand new class for South Africa brothers, inshallah, inshallah. You can watch this video after as well. Uh, I think so, inshallah, Azawajal. We, you will be able to watch this because it's going to be uh, on the YouTube channel. If you go on to Dawat Islami YouTube channel, inshallah, Azawajal. I want to, I want you to subscribe this channel, link the bell icon, so that inshallah, uh, whenever we are live, you'll be able to do that. Also send the, the link to other people as well. The more, the merrier, inshallah, Azawajal. Amir Bhatt, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Amir Bhai. There's a lot of uh, salam. Dawat Islami, I need who can teach me full time during lockdown. MashaAllah. Like I said, as uh, Islam brother from South Africa, if you contact the Islam brothers, Shahid Garda or Adnan Madini, they'll give you a link and you can join us, inshallah. Uh, we've got an Islamic sister, Dawat Islami, Africa, Madrasatul Madina online. Uh, gee, uh, at the moment, uh, I don't know about South, uh, South Africa, but uh, inshallah, Azawajal, we are starting brothers, Islamic sisters. We can, as soon as we get some Islamic sisters, we can start that as well. Ji, Shish Alam Attari, please make a playlist of all these episodes. It will help to learn again and again. 
it's a madni request inshallah azawajal. hopefully we will make a playlist for this as well inshallah like i said it's my first time live on youtube but alhamdulillah azawajal, we do have our it majlis behind the scenes mashallah doing a lot of work hopefully inshallah azawajal, we should get this uh, sorted as well um Amir Bhatt, Salam, I'm Muhammad Muzammil, thanks, mashallah, thanks for that Muzammil bhai. Daud Islami Africa, 100% understanding, beautiful, mashallah. Uh, if there's any questions uh, regarding today's uh, uh, live, then you can ask them as well. Uh, I already know this by heart, but I can always practice to get better, alhamdulillah, uh, I am I am meek, noon, was, ha, hamza, ya, uh, okay. I'm in lesson 8, but I practice with my mom, so now I know up to the first line of lesson 10. Brilliant, mashallah. The other method of learning was better. Uh, which one, Yasin bhai? Which other method was better? Tell us which was the better one, so we can do what's better. Uh, Salam, is this for girls and for boys? This live session that we're doing, everyone can join. Inshallah, Islamic sisters uh, can join our home and, and repeat the, the lessons that we're doing, alhamdulillah. Uh, we can't get prayer timetable in Rochdale. You can, brother, don't worry. You will get you'll contact them, brothers, inshallah, they'll get some for you. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Is there lessons tomorrow? Yes, inshallah. Five o'clock, hopefully, inshallah, so will be on air. For we, What we're going to do is every day, whenever we read the next lesson, we're going to continue to repeat the lesson one because this is the foundation of your Quran, the foundation of the Qaeda of learning the Quran. So we're going to repeat this every single day so that we can, inshallah, so we'll get the gist of it as well, the, the lesson one, inshallah. So uh, the other learning method is better. Again, uh, where there was the teacher and the kids in a call. Uh, at, at, the, at the moment, we are. I think maybe uh, there's, uh, someone's mentioned about the Madrasatul Madina for children. We are working on that as well. Alhamdulillah, uh, you'll be happy to hear that we have started the Hivs class. As you know, this is something. It's a president thing. No one thought that you know we're going to be locked down in our homes for so many days and weeks. We never thought of that. You know, so it's it's a very big thing. Dawood Islami. Alhamdulillah, we've got approximately four thousand students in the uk so we need to sit down we are working tirelessly day and night to try to think of ways how we can do that at the moment as you know there's Dawood islami is entirely run on donations now if there's no donations coming how can we afford to pay our teachers that was the biggest problem we have just make dua allah Ta'ala makes it easier for us but the good news is that we have started the, the hifas classes so Alhamdulillah, there is a teacher available every single day, Monday to Friday, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And this is only for Madrasatul Madina, Hifaz uh, boys. Inshallah, their classes have started. We are working in the Qaeda and the Nazra classes for boys and girls. As soon as we get the answer, Inshallah, we're going to start that as well. Where was the teacher and the kids in a... Okay, sorry, that's the same one. Mo Madani, this method is good. Keep it, keep it as it is. Inshallah, Azawajal. Make dua for us. We said we're going to keep it for 35, uh, 40 minutes. So Inshallah, Azawajal. Uh, I want you to please join me tomorrow at the same time, 5 p.m. until Inshallah, 5.30 to 5.40 p.m. And try to uh, do me a favor, you know, uh, message on the link to all your contacts so that they can also join in as well. May Allah Ta'ala reward us and may Allah Azza wa forgive us. Dawat Islami also has a Facebook page, Dawat Islami English. If you can download that as well and, and like the Facebook page, inshallah, Azza wa because th today is Thursday, Dawat Islami's live ijtima in England that happens, inshallah, will be relayed on Madani channel as well as our Facebook page. So try to like our Facebook page as well. Inshallah, so Jazakallah, if you were read with me, Jazakallah for joining us. Inshallah, I'll see you same time tomorrow, 5 p.m. Inshallah. Until then, take care of yourself. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala, ala Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa